first of all, uh, hats off to Oklahoma State. Um, great team, uh, tough pitching staff, um, great crowd, great environment, and uh, just wish, wish them the best of luck. And, and certainly, uh, they have the team, I think, that could win it all. Um, secondly, uh, the game itself, uh, first couple innings, uncharacteristically, you know, we, we sped up the game, we made some mistakes. Uh, Val was, didn't have her, her command early and, and uh, we didn't play clean defense behind her and, and uh, got behind. But uh, as always, I love the way our team fought back. We still had opportunities. Um, you know, I think <clears throat> them changing pitchers there late uh, was a testament to our offense and, and, and our ability to come back. Um, so very proud of our effort tonight. And, uh, you know, it's never easy when you don't win your last game. And uh, this season, season has been so special. Um, and just love our senior class and everything that they've done for this program. They took a chance three years ago on a startup. And, you know, they kind of had that entrepreneurial spirit. And uh, they've taken this program to a super regional in, in three years. So kind of emotional. Um, obviously, we're going to miss them. They've set the standard for this program for years to come. They've left their legacy. And uh, very proud of our team. What a wonderful year. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to learn a lot from this experience as we did last year in Tuscaloosa. And uh, take a little time off and, and get back at it. Questions? Hey, John, the uh, second inning there, they seemed to be aggressive and really pouncing on the mistakes y'all made. What did you sense just out of them as you guys were struggling? The I second? just, honestly, you know, they're, <laughs> they're an explosive offensive team, you know, and, and uh, we just, we sped up the game defensively. La Valerie really did her job of getting ground balls, and we just didn't execute defensively, and you can't do that against good teams in this setting. Can you touch on the growth that you've seen from this program from when you started to where you are in year three? Uh, definitely. I mean, the first year obviously ended short with COVID, and that was pretty disappointing. Um, but I think that year would have been kind of our ACC tournament run when that may, may have felt a little too big. You know, I think last year regionals felt a little too big, and this year we kind of blew through it. This year supers may have felt a little too big, and next year they're going to blow through that and head to the World Series. Um, so I think just seeing the growth, the progression, um, just seeing young kids grow up, seeing Val come into her own, Ken's come into her own, Millie come into her own, and just play on these big stages, um, that just weren't, that wasn't things they were doing their freshman year. I mean, they had raw talent, but they didn't have the experience. And that's really a testament to a team like Oklahoma State. You know, you see their wall covered with all the accolades since back in the 90s. You know, we've, uh, we've been around for two and a half years. So that'll be something that, that I'm looking forward to seeing in the future is just our wall covered like that as well because this place is only going up from here. Mackenzie, from your perspective, young in the program, you don't have this experience. Where do you see the growth of the program going after this year? You no, know, thanks to all the amazing seniors and juniors, they gave us the best shot that we had. They have given us opportunities, they've given us wisdom, they've given us all the tools that we need for the next few years to come. And I am sorry we couldn't get a little further for you guys, but uh, just the seniors and showing us the way for being a new, new team coming up, it's just, <sighs> we'll miss you guys. It just means the world to me to be on this team and to see everyone grow as much as they have. I just can't see what the years to come is. John, you've seen a lot of really good pitchers over your career. What makes Kelly so good? I mean, you guys obviously saw her like yesterday, but she still comes in as effective today. Yeah, very tight spin, good velocity, um, left left-handed pitcher. You know, it's um, it's a little different. You don't see him every day, and uh, certainly we have a lefty that we see in practice a lot, but. Uh, she just does a really good job of uh, hitting spots and getting you to chase pitches with her break. You know, you, you can have tight spin, and um, but if you don't hit your spots, it's, um, it's a little easier. But she hits her spots, and her ball breaks through the strike zone. You know, it doesn't stay in the zone long. you gotta, you got to take advantage of mistakes when she gives them to you, and she doesn't make too many. 
McKenzie, on your uh, on your home run, what was your your viewpoint of the center fielder's play on it, and and what was it like to to come through in a big moment like that? Um, at that point, I knew it was a shot. And I kind of had a little pep in my step as I was running first base because I, I know that center fielder is a pretty decent athlete, and I knew it wasn't high enough. <laughs> um, I just I saw her put her glove up, and I took a quick breath for a minute. But uh, you know, coming through in that big moment, chills coming in, giving high fives all the way around, getting <laughs> uh, positive reinforcement, my skittles for a good hit or whatever it is. It just. <laughs> Good feelings all around. I'll remember that hit for years to come. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.